I'm here in uh, Ringwood, New Jersey with Andrew. And we're going to take a look at his vehicle. Andrew, what do we got here? We have a 2001 Jeep Cherokee Sport. It's lifted three inches with a Rusty's off-road lift kit and 31 inch tires. Now why, um, why a Jeep? I was younger, I was into bigger vehicles. Okay. This was in my price range, also price range for what I could afford aftermarket wise. Okay. And I just love the look of it. And you still like the look of it? I, I, I love the look of it. I love it's the color. Just, the, color's, the color's nice. I was going for this color. I saw this in Craigslist and I thought it was perfect. Yeah, it's a good deal. Now, um, I noticed you got like a winch up front or? I did have a winch. Oh, it's just it the box for it? It was a 10,000 pound worn winch, but it ended up breaking. Okay. And I didn't feel like sending it into the company to get it fixed because I feel like shipping would have cost me more than it was worth. So I just took it off, take off the weight, save some gas mileage, I guess. Now, would you get another winch? I would. I found something? another one for like 300 bucks for 9,500 pounds. Smitty built brand. So that's something down the line. Yep. There's a Smitty built bumper. I have a 12 inch light bar here. A 50 inch curved light bar up there. I like that storage rack up top. Gives it like the off road um, safari look. I like that a lot. And I did not have the drill until the roof for that. Just it's just clamped to onto the, right the side. There. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Although that looks really good that I don't really think it would even make a difference if you did have to drill into it. I think that just adds to the vehicle. I just didn't want to have any uh, poss possibility of leaking issues. Yeah, no, that's water. true. Now, uh, are these um, aftermarket wheels and tires? Yes, the wheels are aftermarket. I don't know how big of an offset, but they have an offset. These are 31s by 10 and a half. Okay. They're Mastercraft Corsair MXTs. It's a mud terrain tire. Yeah, it's a nice tread on there. I plan on going uh, six and a half with either 33s or 35s, hopefully in the summer. It's tints all around, it's about 20, 25% tint. Okay. Tail lights are tinted. Did you get in trouble for that? You ever get pulled over? Never got pulled over. Nobody's looked at you. See, with me, my luck would be I'd put that on the next day. I'd have the ticket in my windshield. And the grill, I had a color match grill, and I wanted to go with an American flag. I like that. That's that's another really unique thing. And then you got the angry eye option on the, uh, the that, lights. I'm going to plastic dip it. I was planning on buying uh, new headlights. Okay. So I didn't feel like wasting the plastic dip. No, that's fine. I mean, it gets and the job done. Then uh, not buying those anytime soon, just because swapping the motor soon. So okay. I'm saving the money for that. So I'm probably just going to end up plastic dipping these. I'm being done with it. And uh, this was only 25 bucks, and me and my friend just painted it. That's a the steal. Flag. Oh, you painted the American flag yeah. in there? Yeah. Oh, I thought it came that way. That's no, really neat. It was, believe it or not, the paint yeah. costed me more than the actual grill itself. Fantastic deal. And we banged it out in two hours just because it had to dry. Yeah, that's neat. And you had a little like star pattern you followed, that type of thing? Yep. What we did is we printed it out from like Google Images or something. Okay. And we did a white base coat, put placed the star there, basically uh, using the okay. white as a glue, and then just sprayed then directly sprayed over glue. it. And then just peeled off the stars and Yeah, I know, so I, I thought you bought it this way. No. That's neat. I and mean, you can tell there's some little blunders, but nothing. Yeah, too but noticeable. It's, again, I, I thought you bought that on eBay or whatever. So I saw on eBay, they were trying to get like 300 bucks for it. Well, there you go. You <laughs> saved yourself a lot of money. The interior is clean. Yeah, let's take a look at the interior. Now, this is an automatic. Yes. Now, you have, uh, you changed the lights out in here? I did. I have. I bought it from onewaylights.com, I believe. Okay. There are LEDs all around. All interior, the courtesy lights, the visor lights. Oh yeah, they're bright. The passenger lights, the dome light, and is that the a custom headliner? Rear cargo. It is. 
That's neat. It is. That actually came in when I bought the Jeep. I didn't. It was like that. that. I was gonna do some kind of a star galaxy kind of pattern, but that kind of works though. I kind of like this. I at first I hated it, but I grew, it grew on, on you. It. Yeah. So what I really like about the lights is that um, it gives it like a more modern, a modern vehicle feel because they're so bright. You know, on older vehicles, not that this is an older vehicle, you know, terribly older vehicle, but they're usually a lot dimmer. They they were this gross yellow. That's yeah, exactly. I changed them, and actually the lights right here, the ones that you push, the yeah. passenger lights. When I peeled this off, it was actually burning a hole in the headliner. Huh. So I'm very happy. To yeah, change absolutely. It. And if it was a dome light, that'd be different because right. that's on a lot more than just pushing it on. So Pivot potentially saved that from burning. Yeah, that's a good and, call. Uh, it's almost too bright because I'll get out of my car at night and I'll close my eyes before I open the door so it doesn't you know startle you're get me. Shocked. All right. Uh, for all the LEDs, it was only about. 50 bucks yeah, that's nothing and uh that's it good took value me, for the money took me maybe 10 15 minutes to, do. to put them in yeah i want to get them for uh the marker lights on on my car okay i just a matter of doing it i have leds in the back on the tail lights the Here, front turn them on. Let's take a look. can't really see them because it's uh, almost too tented. Yeah, but you know what, though? At least at night you're going to see them, so thankfully yeah. you did go with the LEDs. Yeah, that's a neat look. I actually didn't know there were LEDs in there already, so oh. I ended up buying LEDs just to realize there were LEDs. Well, now you got a spare set. I just returned them. <laughs> It was like it was like fifty bucks for like. Oh, they were expensive. Bulbs. Yeah. Now, what um, what future plans do you have for this? Uh, like I said before, lifted six and a half inches uh, suspension. Okay. Uh, go either thirty-three inch tires or thirty-five. So if I feel like spend the money to regear. Okay. Um, in April or May, just when it gets warm out, swapping the motor with another inline six four zero. This one's giving me problems. It has a cracked head, bad head gasket, bad lifters, rockers, and valves. But you can still drive it. I can still drive Fantastic. it. Fantastic. It gets me to school and work. But but it's going to be a stock yeah. motor, like nothing done to it. I uh, might go with a bigger cam. Okay. Might. Um, buying a new air intake and buying everything new to go with it. Heater core, radiator, thermostat, water pump. So everything will be upgraded. Um, buying a new, getting a new custom exhaust, hopefully as soon after the swap as possible. Okay. Because right now I have a hole in the exhaust, and I don't want the lack of back pressure on the new motor. Yeah, correct. I'm gonna go with. I believe it's a stock. The piping's two and a half. I'm okay. Go two and a half to a three inch, and I'm gonna go with a single muffler, uh, Super Ten from uh, Flowmaster. So it's gonna be louder. Plus, it's gonna sound a lot cleaner. Absolutely. Now, what model is this? Is a Jeep Cherokee Sport. It's a Sport. Okay, it's not a Grand Cherokee. No. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, show this off today, and I do wish you all the best with it. I think it's like yeah. I said. I really like the color. I like the stuff you did with it. Um, I thought enough of it that I really did want to shoot a video. We talked about this. Oof, I don't know, last summer since, or something. Since I got yeah, it. it's been a while. Maybe about a while. Like June. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad we finally got to it. And uh, again, all the best with it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to like and subscribe.